I mentioned in another video that I created a, a cover for the bell of the tuba that doesn't really uh, reflect uh, or restrict, sorry, the playing. And, uh, and it looks kind of cool. And the reason we did this was that uh, I've always played in, in church. And when our church decided to, to resume live services at one point this summer, um, one request was made to me that we find a way to cover the tuba. And um, I can't honestly say that a lot of aerosols would come out of it, but you never can tell. I mean, I haven't found any research studies that discuss that. Uh, it doesn't mean there aren't any. I just haven't seen them yet. And so we came up with an idea. So I told my wife, you know, the biggest bell I have on a tuba is for 20 inches. So it needs to be about 22 to 24 inches in diameter. And I wanted a drawstring on it so I can vary the tightness or the tension uh, as I need to. And it would also help me use the same cover for multiple instruments, so I don't have to make more than a few of them. But, uh, so this is it. Let me, let me show you. It, it, it looks pretty cool. It doesn't restrict the playing at all. And um, we chose, we had some wild tie-dye fabric here that we put over it. Now this is not the largest size bell tuba I have. This is a five-quarter B-flat. It's an 18 and a half inch bell. And I'm going to tie it just like I would tie a shoestring. And there we go. It doesn't have to be tight, um, but it kind of looks cool. And then when I bring it up to play, it doesn't restrict the playing at all. I have a tuba rest right here that I'm going to put on. It doesn't restrict the playing at all. And, um, and it kind of looks cool. I'll adjust it here, but so you can kind of look at that. But there so it doesn't really restrict your playing at all um it looks kind of cool and uh, i think it helps relieve some of the anxiety that other people might have when they see you blowing a lot of air into a big instrument like this. Of course, when you combine that with um, the tuba, uh, the uh, face shield that I was experimenting with earlier uh, with the mouthpiece here, and then an actual mask to put over your face when you're not playing, so it's always there, then you can go from playing position to not playing position pretty quickly, I think. And uh, hopefully that's another thing that we can do just to eliminate the, the spread of microscopic particles that we're all worried about right now. Um, you can also make one of these simple enough for just about any instrument that needs that has a bell. I am concerned still about more about flutes and clarinets and things like that of where the air goes after it leaves here, the embouchure. Um, but we'll find, we'll figure out a way. I've seen several really good designs already. Um, but uh, but there's kind of a, a tuba cover. You can make a smaller one for a trumpet. Um, another one for the French horn will be a little bit harder because the hand does go inside of the bell. Uh, you can make another size entirely for trombones. And um, but it's But something is better than nothing. And so there's the tuba cover, the tuba mask we might call it, I don't know. Um, but my wife came up with the design, got to give her the credit. Uh, I told her what it needed to have and what I wanted, the features I, I wanted it to have. And uh, she set to work with the sewing machine and, and made this. And it's so far it's worked perfect. Um, we don't go to live, haven't been done a live service in a long time again. But one day we will again. And it could be that uh, it becomes kind of a more permanent feature of my playing in church. Um, or live. I don't know. We'll see. So there it is. There's the tuba cover, the tuba mask. And there we go.